Well, they went viral thanks to their uplifting performances during the early days of the pandemic. And now the men known as the singing surgeons have released a batch of new music aimed at literally healing the heart. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken joins us live this morning. Paul, you caught up with the musical doctors just as they're beginning new chapters of their lives. Yes. Yeah, this was really exciting. I've been a fan of theirs for a long time. Dr. Dr. Elvis Francois and Dr. William Robinson have now left the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, where you saw those videos from earlier. Now they're separately. When I talked to them, they were in Boston and Philadelphia. That said, they are still making music together, partnering with Lipton for a unique new EP. It is perhaps one of the most memorable moments from 2020. Two surgeons in full medical gear performing John Lennon's Imagine. I think to, for, uh, for people to see two physicians or two healthcare workers in general providing this message of hope, especially during the pandemic, I think it resonated with people. Did it ever. Dr. Elvis Francois and Dr. William Robinson became known as the singing surgeons, and now they're back at it, teaming up with Lipton to release a four-track EP called Put a Little Love in Your Heart. Put a little love in your heart. The goal is to remind listeners about the importance of heart health. There are so many songs with heart in the title. To me, the hardest part had to be deciding what songs to record. So how did you do it? I think uh, on face value, when we, when we initially thought about the project, I was like, oh, great, yeah. We'll just, uh, you know, make a collection of songs that inspire people to, to take care of their own hearts. And then when you look at the list, you're like, this is a quite quite the task. But when we finally whittled it down to the four, um, I was very, very happy with, uh, you know, the, 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 the body of work. So hopefully people get to enjoy it. Please don't hesitate. This is such a perfect intersection of, of what you guys do. It's using music to draw attention to health issues. So for you, this had to be like a no-brainer, like, yeah, we got to do this. I think that's the perfect word. I say that all the time, a no-brainer. For us, it has to focus on something positive, something to inspire, and something to educate people that has a massive effect. And so um, heart disease, whether that be high cholesterol, high blood pressure, or just general diseases of the heart are the number one cause of mortality in the United States. And so for Elvis and I, if we can do something on our end to help enlighten, teach, inspire the people who enjoy listening to us about what they can do for their heart health and their health overall. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's a no brainer. Well, gentlemen, it was such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for, for not just the music, but what you've been doing for, uh, for all of us over the past couple of months and, and keep up the good work and come to Atlanta when you can and perform, please. Absolutely. I'm actually interviewing in Atlanta for a spine surgery position. Uh, so I'll be there next next week. There's, there's a good chance that I'll end up uh, moving to Atlanta if that works out. So William, I do play a little piano. So look, you may have a replacement right here. There, we, there you go. <laughs> Please don't there take we go. There we go. Yes, I'm going to be the next singing surgeon, even though I'm definitely not a surgeon. That part doesn't matter. We'll negotiate. So in uh, honor of this brand new EP, Lipton is going to make a donation to the American Heart Association. Put a Little Love in Your Heart is available for download now on all major streaming platforms. And guys, you'll remember Dr. Elvis was on The Masked Singer last season. He was the serpent, which had me fooled for most of the season. So I had to ask him about it. That part of the interview is on on my Facebook page right now. Go to Paul Milliken Fox 5 and he talks all about his experience on The Masked Singer. Spoiler alert, he says, it was like singing in an oven. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's interesting. Listen, yeah. I don't endorse you joining them in either of their forums, but certainly you're better off in the musical one than in the operating room, I think. <laughs> no, come on. I think I'd be very talented in either one. And a doctor named I could Elvis? I be a singing surgeon. A doctor named Elvis? Are you kidding <laughs> Dr. me? Dr. Elvis. This Dr. was meant to be. Right? Right. Of course Ken, he's going to sing. And he brought Ken Jung to tears, too. Remember that, Paul? He did. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah. Quite talented. All right, Paul, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Paul.